The other day I was looking at this dictionary and I noticed that down in the corner there were some little dots and I thought, oh, I think I know what's happening here. I bent the book and pressed my thumb across the pages and flipped them and sure enough, these dots are dancing down in the corner of my daughter's dictionary. Pretty cool, huh? And then they turn into squiggles and squirm off the page. It's the same idea behind this professionally published flip book called A Cat's Welcome. When I flip the pages of this book quickly, I see a cat coming through an apartment and running to its owner's legs. So cute. It's very thick paper and a thick book, and it does take some practice to get your thumb to flip the pages. Animation is a way of making a movie from many still pictures. When the pictures are put together one after the other and shown at fast speed, it gives the illusion of movement. It's like a little movie. When I flip it backwards, the movie plays backwards. And this flip book has an extra animation on the left hand side with a record player and music notes. When I flip it forward, we get to see the cat come back out into the apartment and greet its owner. To make your own simple flipbook animation, you might have sticky notes at home, a ballpoint pen, or just a regular book that no one minds if you draw a little bit in. I asked my daughter to show me how she did the dots. Here she is testing the book to make sure it flips, and then in the corner she's going to make a dot. She's going to press pretty hard and I'll show you why. When she flips to the next page, there's a little indent of that dot and she can make a dot right next to that one so that it looks like the dot is moving slightly when she flips. So here's a third dot that's going next to that indent. So with every page, the dot is moving a tiny bit by a tiny bit. And later when we flip it, you'll see it'll look animated. Animation takes patience. You have to be willing to make at least 20 pages for a flip book to work. And sometimes people like to do even more complicated animations bigger than a dot. But you can start with a dot. You can always add legs to your dot to make it spidery or wings to make it like a fly. Or even a few more segments so that it looks like an ant or a centipede. So let's see how it turned out. Cool. Here's another one done on a post-it note, stack. Goodbye.